Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and in today's video, we're going to be engraving this bottle opener that I got from Target. Let's get into it. I bought this bottle opener at Target. I think it costs either $3.99 plus tax or $4.99 plus tax. Either way, it's pretty cheap for a stainless steel bottle opener. What we're going to do is engrave this or laser mark it with black and Duramark. So I've used this before in a tumbler video where I engraved a stainless steel tumbler. I will leave a card to that up in the top part of the screen. I'm gonna use that again, but this time I'm going to engrave this surface of the bottle opener. I'm going to try to take a graphic I already have, size it down a little bit, and then use the camera on the laser to align it to the shape so I'm not engraving dead spots for no reason. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and clean this. I'm going to just wash it with some soap and water. Uh, actually, you could probably use LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner. That's probably what I'll do on this one, uh, just because I have that out here in the shop. And then, I'm going to spray it and let it sit while I work on the design. And the reason I'm cleaning this is mainly to get rid of any kind of oils or residues or anything from it being in the store or being touched, whatever that might be, so that I get the cleanest surface possible. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and clean the bottle opener and spray it with the Endar Mark. Okay, so I am going to use the LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner. You can get it at Dollar Tree. It's pretty cheap. Okay, just make sure that all the oil is off of it and it's got a clean surface to engrave. Again, I am going to be using Enduramark Black. Just make sure to read the instructions on the back. Follow them as needed and you should be good to go. Now that I've sprayed the bottle opener, I'm going to go over to my computer and start preparing the design from an overall perspective. Once the bottle opener is dry, I will stick it in the laser to involve the camera, but let's go ahead over to the computer and start booting that up. To help speed up the design side, I did let the bottle opener dry. It is dry enough to put in the laser. So I'm going to put in the laser, grab the screenshot of the bottle opener itself, and then mock up the design to match it. All you want to do is put it in the center of the bed and then jog the laser head over and make sure that you put it into focus. <laughs> Once it's in focus, you can go ahead and do the camera shot. The reason you put it in the middle of the bed is because the camera is best and most accurate over the center. All right, the first thing that I want to do is go over to the dashboard. So here I can go ahead and grab this image. What I need to do is at the bottom left-hand corner on the epilogue software, I have a copy background image. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go back to Adobe Illustrator and then paste that into place. In my case, my artboard was 24 by 12, so it automatically clicked to the same exact size. Now what I want to do is go ahead and lock this layer, make a new layer, and I'm going to zoom in to trace. And what I want to do is I'm going to trace in a different color just to make it easier to see. So I'm going to make a rectangle around the bottle opener. Right up to the edge. I'm going to drag in the ends to meet the top of the curve. And then I'm going to drag in 
the corners to make a radius. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to make a circle on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, I'm going to copy that circle. Try to line up the curves as best as I can. Draw the other lines. And then what I normally do is I go through and trim them and delete what I don't want. And now I have a single object. So this is the bottle opener. Now what I want to do is I actually want to make these inner ones offset a little bit. So I make sure that the engraving goes all the way to the edge of the bottle opener. So what I'm going to do here is select those paths, go to path, offset path, and go in the negative direction about 0.02 and click OK and make sure that I expand the appearance on those. So now the new shape is just inside. And then the outer one, I do the opposite. I actually expand it outward 0.02 so that I make sure I go all the way to the edge of the bottle opener. And in this case, I might actually go up to 0.03. Click OK. And this is going to be my shape. Now, to make it easier to work with the art, I'm going to hide that back layer and make sure I expand every piece of the design. This is my bottle opener. I'm going to copy some artwork I have from a previous design I've done and paste it into this one. I'm going to rotate it and then actually scale it down until the width is about the same as the bottle opener. Now I can send this to back just so I can see what it's going to look like and try to put the artwork somewhere that looks interesting. Like this looks really cool. I think I might actually do this one. And I can always engrave both sides of the bottle opener if I choose. Because this side also looks pretty cool. So I'm going to stick with this side like I mentioned. Also keep in mind of where the artwork is not going to land. So you're going to have a big gap here and a big gap here. So I would just line up the artwork appropriately so you have some of the coolest artwork where you can. Now what I want to do is actually reverse this from an outline to a fill. What I'm going to do is actually copy these two red strokes and I'm going to change them to fills. Now because I copied them, I can paste them again and they'll still be outlines. But what I need to do here is actually subtract that space from the artwork by choosing the minus front. And then I'm going to do the same here. I need to bring that piece to the front of the artwork. Select both and do minus front again so there's a big gap in the artwork. Now, if I paste the outlines, you can see what it will look like again. And then what I'm going to do is take the outer boundary. I am going to copy it just so I have it. So what I need to do here is bring this boundary to the front. Select the artwork behind it as well by holding shift and clicking it and then doing make clipping mask. This will make it so I just have the bottle opener artwork. So this is the design that I want to send over. So what I'm going to do is click print. It's already set up as a 12 by 24, go ahead and send it. And now, as you see, the artwork lines up with my bottle opener in the machine right now. Now for this one, I'm going to select a built-in setting that says stainless steel with Surmark and hit import. 
Now, for the speed, I actually like to lower this. The best policy for this kind of stuff is actually high power, low speed. It will give you some of the best results. I'm going to do that. For dithering, I usually use Stucky just out of habit. And I'm going to split this by color. So I'm going to go to the red and turn that off. I only want to deal with the black. I may have to reset a setting or two. Resolution, I will leave at 500. Speed is going to be 15. Power is going to be 100. And I'm going to do bottom up just so I can watch it work. Once I have all that, I'm just going to hit print and send it over to the laser. Once the design is engraved, or marked rather, it'll look something like this. Now we need to clean it off. I usually run this under water and wipe everything off of it. Uh, that'll get rid of all of the excess spray that was in the Enduramark and clean up the rest of the engraving. So let's go ahead and clean this off. Now that I've cleaned it off, here is the final bottle opener. So let me try to get a an up close view here. So you can see it went all the way up to the edge of the bottle opener. Nice sleek design. This might be one of my favorite bottle openers I've ever engraved. Now it does look really cool. I do like how the design came out. In a future video, I'm probably going to engrave the back of this with the silver just to see how they line up. Uh, but wanted to show you guys what this one would look like. Hopefully this video has been helpful and informative. If it has and you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. And be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share things like this along the way. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.